guys, welcome back to another studio vlog. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments last week. Honestly, everyone's just so nice and I'm really loving the little community that we're starting to build here. I'm seeing all the same names comment every week and it's really nice getting to know you. I think I chat to a lot of you on Instagram as well in the DMs, which is really great as well. I feel like I'm making friends on this journey, which is something I wasn't necessarily expecting to happen and it has and it's the best feeling ever so thank you so much for all the comments and it's monday today i'm feeling motivated i have come into the studio finished my product photo <laughs> finished my product photography and i'm so glad it's done i can just sit and edit them get them onto my website and then i can launch i'm so ready to launch i just need to do the final tweaks and set a date and you know do some marketing and promote it a little bit on Instagram and stuff like that. Um, I sat down last night and did a drawing. I'm gonna finish it off this morning. So let's get to the iPad. I'm loving how this illustration is going. It's the first time in ages that I've been genuinely, genuinely proud of an illustration. I really like the illustration I did for the notebooks. But since then, I just haven't I've been in a bit of an art block. I, I've tried and it's just not worked. Like I started one a couple of weeks ago and I just never finished it because it wasn't going well. I just wasn't enjoying the process and I was really struggling with it. And then this illustration I've done in less than two hours, it's just happened and I'm so proud of it so far. So I'm gonna finish off some final little bits and show you the end result. She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something bad to features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard she got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be Good morning, guys. So after yesterday's introduction, I ended up filming nothing. And instead, I just got cracking. And I got so much done yesterday. I think it was the most productive day I've had in such a long time. I restocked stickers, started restocking the notebooks, finished all the product photography, edited the photos, and that's like over 150 photos edited, ready to be uploaded. So right now I'm gonna go back onto my website and upload all of my listings ready for my website launch. And talking of which, I'm gonna announce my website launch date on Instagram. So the official website launch date with all the new products and big shop update is going to be Friday the 12th of February. I haven't decided on a time yet, but I'm going to make the post for Instagram and decide when I do that. And in other news, I find out today if we're having a baby boy or a baby girl and I'm so excited. I can't wait to tell you guys. So I'm going to get into working day and get cracking on my website. I'm not really sure what I can film because it's quite an ad mini day because I'm only in for a little bit packaging a couple of orders and then I'm heading to the maternity ward. Okay, to the laptop. Fast forward a few hours, I've been working on product photos, uploading them to my website, and now I'm off to the maternity ward. We're gonna find out how baby's doing and whether it is a boy or a girl. So I'll be back in the studio tomorrow and I shall let you know our news. Okay, to the hospital. It's 
is a boy! <laughs> so we had our scan yesterday, baby is doing great, it's developing really well, all's looking healthy and it's definitely a boy. So we were both totally convinced it was a girl, I don't know why but it was a real surprise to hear boy, but a really great surprise. We were both happy either way. To know that we're having a little son is just, it's really special. And I now need to stock up on some boy baby stuff. I'm so excited to get shopping. I need to not go mad, but I definitely wanna buy his first outfit for going home from the hospital. And yeah, great news, a great way to start the day and he kept me up until about 4am last night because he was wriggling about and I think I'm just not used to it so it kept me up. So hopefully I'll get some sleep tonight because I have a lot to do before he arrives. I'm so, I'm so excited! <laughs> I can't believe it's a boy! <sighs> anyway, I feel like all I've done this vlog is come on and say hello, it's a new day and then not actually film myself doing anything. Uh, but it's really been a pretty admin heavy week this week so far. But I just need to package a couple of orders, so I'll show you that. And then really I need to get back to the website. I really wanted to design a couple more products uh, ready for the launch. And to be honest, I really need to get that done now because the launch is in 10 days. So uh, for example, I wanna do some bookmarks. I know the designs, I've got the designs, I just need to put it in the right format and then I need to send them off. And I need to do that now so that they actually arrive in time. Otherwise, I'm just gonna be stressed out. So I'm gonna get cracking on that. I'll show you the bookmarks that I'm making. I've got a very exciting delivery arriving. I shall show you hopefully later. And I'm gonna get packaging these orders. So this is a badge maker. I'll leave the link in the description below, but this one seemed to be the best in terms of the amount of badges you get. This has 500 and it was next day delivery on Amazon, which was handy. I hope I'm not setting myself up for more things to manufacture, but it says you can make two to 300 in an hour. So I was hoping I could just stock up in one big go and then not have to worry about it. with these badges that it's well exceeded my expectations and I'm using uh, HP premium paper so it's like a plain paper but it's a premium quality and I did a test print and the one I just showed you was on the Epson eco tank and it wasn't like the best quality and it the colors are a bit muted and what I find with the Epson is it's perfect for printing art prints on like premium paper but when it comes to like normal printer paper even if it's premium 
it doesn't print that well and so I tried it on the laser and the difference is amazing. Now the laser isn't really meant for like art prints on the real uh, archival paper but on this paper it works really well. Let me show you the difference. Okay, I'm not really sure if you can tell on camera. This, I think you can. This is the Epson and this is the laser. And you can see the colors just really pop on the laser. And I did up the saturation on the Epson, but it wasn't quite right. Whereas this, it adds like a really nice sheen. And I think you can see the difference in the badges. So again, this is the Epson, the Eco Tank and this is the laser and honestly you can definitely see the difference here it's like this is grainier and this is just sharper and it's perfect because the laser is much faster so i can make lots of badges so i'm gonna get designing a few more badges what i want to do is use my characters that i've already got the ones that are my favorite and the ones that have had the most love on instagram i think they'll be the most popular and i'm gonna get making a handful of each so that I can see which ones sell. I don't want to make like a hundred of each and not know which ones are the best sellers, but it doesn't take that long to actually make the badges. Once I figured out where everything goes and what way around it is, it was really easy. So I'm going to set up those designs and that's more products added to the shop. Amazing. Oh, and then product photos. Oh, anyway, back to work. Okay, so this is the second badge I've designed. Uh, this is a recent um, illustration you'll have seen at the beginning of the vlog and I absolutely love it. I think the colours have come out great and I'm just designing the backing card. So what I've done on Procreate is just done a block colour and I've tried to match the pink in the lips to the backing card just so that it stands out against the blue. This is a, a large canvas because I want the resolution to be good but I've just shrunk it down to real size because that's what it will print out as just to see what the badge looks like on the actual backing card. I'm going to make these in-house because I don't know how well each design is going to sell so I don't want to order like a hundred backing cards for one design and then it not be popular. So for now I'm going to make them in-house and see how well they do in the shop. So I finished my first sample of my button with the backing card I'm getting really tired and I'm really ready to go home and have my dinner and feed my little baby boy. <laughs> so we're going to head home and get started on dinner. I think the only reason the paper was bending is because I was poking the uh, badge straight through it. So what I've done is order 
a mini hole punch that will just punch two holes here so that it doesn't kind of bend or warp the, the card. And I've designed another one for this badge. And I really love the contrast. What I've tried to do is pick out the colour from her lapel in her jacket so it kind of matches but also there's a contrast there. And I can actually have my website printed on my products now, which is really, really exciting. And I've just been clipping the corners. It makes such a big difference to the overall look. And it also helps with packaging because these corners are quite sharp. Not sharp enough to cut, but I mean, they're sharp enough to rip the tissue paper that they're packaged in. So having the rounded corners is practical and also I just love it. It looks so much better. So I'm really happy with this and I'm hoping I'll be able to design a couple more ready for the launch and fingers crossed people like them. camera for a good two minutes and hadn't clicked record so <laughs> let's start again. Good morning. Uh, last night I planned out all of next week ready for the launch because it's on Friday the 12th of February and that's like a week away so I spent last night planning my whole week day to day what I'm doing hour by hour with my daily planner and I think as long as I stick to it I should be okay. I have a huge amount to do still, but this is definitely the most prepared I've felt for a launch since I started the shop. The mistake I've made in the past is uh, rushing to upload the products, the product photography, and then launching and making more sales than I expected and having no stock ready. Whereas this time, stock's been manufactured, badges, I've stocked up enough badges, I think, uh, and if not, like if by some miracle I sell more than the badges I've made, it doesn't take that long to make more. It's not like I need to make more notebooks or to-do lists and things like that. So I'm hoping if I do manage to get some sales next week, I can just come in and package and enjoy the packaging instead of panicking that I don't have the products made ready. So I think I'm gonna end the studio vlog here I hope you've enjoyed it. It's not been a super long one this week, but to be honest, I've just had to crack on and I've not had that much time for filming. So it's not been a super chatty vlog. And I think next week, what I'm gonna do is film the actual launch, which is the Friday. So I won't be uploading my vlog on Friday next week. It'll either be Saturday or Sunday, depending how quickly I can edit it. And that means that you get to see the actual launch and my reaction and hopefully if I make some sales, I can show you that and let you know how well it's done and what kind of things people have bought. I'm really curious to see what is going to be the most popular item. I did mention the other day that I was going to start designing bookmarks and I haven't done it yet so I need to do that today but I don't think I'll film it. I'll include it in next week's vlog so watch out for that and other than that that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you have don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and hit that subscribe. And I shall see you next week for my launch and another studio vlog. Okay, bye.